Halloween's here again, and I decided to replace Scarduino's simple sound with something more interesting. I picked up this Audio FX soundboard from Adafruit for my BB-8 droid, and decided to test it out this way first. I bought the 16 meg version with the 2 watt stereo class D amplifier, so I can go direct to speakers. This is what you get, and the first step is to solder on the headers and sound output sockets, resulting in this. Next comes powering it. Scarduino's server uses four AA alkaline batteries, but that's too high a voltage for the Audio FX soundboard, so I remove one battery. Then I make up a short circuit fake battery, basically a plastic tube with copper plates on either end and a wire connecting them. This way I can use the same battery holder with just three batteries. The servo motor in the skull still works. I then prepare power cable for the soundboard and solder that into the circuit in parallel with the servo. I connect up a temporary speaker just to try it out. Adafruit has an extensive section on their website all about this board, and I've put a link to it in the video description. In that section there's a demo sound file you can download, and there are instructions there for putting the sound tracks on the board. The sound files all have special names that relate to different pins on the board. But I make up my own test sound file called t02.wav and put it on the board. I power up the board using the power cable I've made up. I connect one end of a wire to one of the board's ground pins, then I touch the other end to the sound pin that corresponds to the name of the file, pin 2. Testing sound track 2. Testing sound track 2. You can do the same thing by connecting them with a the switch, but that's not how I'm going to do it for Scarduino. I want the Arduino to tell the soundboard to play a sound. The Audio FX soundboard can operate in UART mode, which means you can use serial commands to tell it what to play, as well as tell it to do other things, and even get data from the board. I'll just have the Arduino send it commands to play sounds. To do all this, you first need to connect the UG pin to a ground pin. That means the next time you restart the board, it'll be in UART mode. Then I'll simply send it commands from the Arduino's pin 6 to the board's RX pin, or receive pin. For that I use some female headers, also bought from Adafruit. I only need three holes, so I remove the fourth pin, cut off what I need, and sand the cut edge. After soldering, I now have a three hole connector, and I also made another one hole connector. I plug the connectors into the board. Through the connectors I've connected one of the board's ground pins to the UG pin. As I said, that puts it in UART mode. And I've another wire ready on the RX pin for going to the Arduino's pin 6. For the Arduino's code, you'll need to download the Adafruit soundboard library from their website, and there are instructions there for how to install it. Once you've installed it, there's a demo sketch that you can look at. I've simply taken that demo sketch and trimmed it down to a simple test program. Again, I'm using the Arduino's pin 6 to send to the soundboard's receive pin. I'm not using the TX or the reset pins, so these numbers don't matter. There's some initialization stuff left in from the example. In the setup function, there's some code for the software serial. And here's where I play the sound. Note that the file names must be 11 characters long, the last three being the file type. To make up the total number of required characters, I put spaces. The AudioFX board supports both WAV and a compressed OGG format. Before I go further, I detach the speaker wires for the Scarduino speaker from the old circuit and connect that to one of the soundboard's speaker outputs. I also connect the wire I prepared from the soundboard's RX pin to the Arduino's pin 6. And lastly, I plug in the power from the batteries. Once I'm ready to test, I simply power up the Arduino. This time the sound comes from the speaker inside Scarduino's skull. Finally I write the code to light up the eyes and open the jaw too, while making the new sounds. Here's a quick demo. This switch enables power to the servo, and then I press the red momentary switch. Here's the code. First are the needed includes, then the definitions and declarations for the Adafruit Audio FX soundboard, then some stuff for the jaw servo and the LED eyes, and then some arrays that describe the sound files I've put on the board. In the setup function I set up the servo, the LEDs, close the jaw for starters, and then set up the software serial for the Audio FX board. That's followed by the usual debounce function for the momentary switch. In the loop function, which is called repeatedly as long as the Arduino is on, I check if the momentary switch has been pressed. If it has, then I turn on the eye LEDs. I start the jaw opening, and then I start the next sound file playing. The sound which says hi gang needs the jaw to be partly closed and then open again in between the word hi and the word gang. And that's what all this does. 
The same goes for I'll be back, but the remaining sounds are simpler. Just wait for the length of the sound. Finally, I close the jaw, turn off the eye LEDs, and increment the variable for which sound I'll play the next time the momentary switch is pressed. This full code is available on my website. See the video description for a link. Happy Halloween! Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel for more fun videos like this. That includes one showing how I made the rest of this square Arduino, another making the Arduino talk using a speech synthesizer, and for variety, one on why blowing on the tops of bottles makes a sound, known as Hemholtz resonance. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, share with your social media, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon!